As we give space to our traditional leaders to lead processes of reconciliation and repair, we should guard against those negative elements which aim to reignite frozen differences, to throw us back into renewed conflict. As always there are sinister forces which seek to profit from a divided and divisive past. They must not succeed, said genocidal president of Zimbabwe in a little veiled threat to commit second Matabel genocide. Matabel and Liberation Organization which is the last line of defense for the vulnerable masses of Matabel people does not take kindly or lightly such threats, especially if said by a well-known genocidist whose hands are dripping and body smelling of innocent Matabel blood. This shows that Zimbabwe is a very dangerous space to live in for the people of Matabelan. Demanding the restoration of Matabelan state and compensation of US $100 billion for Matabelan genocide cannot be viewed as reignition of Matabelan genocide except in the minds of mass tribal slaughters. They have gone unpunished for committing genocide in Matabelan and have seen that as a way of cheering them on to go ahead and murder more innocent Matabel civilians. We will not shack with fear as a result of Nangagwa's genocide threat, but we will shake Zimbabwe by defending ourselves with our own blood. Thanks to Nangagwa and other Shona supremacists who made it a point soon after taking power in 1980 that Matabel people were unwanted cockroaches that needed to be wiped out and Shonas are owners of Zimbabwe that should tribally dominate Matabels. The very Zimbabwe is divided and disintegrating into two states under their watch. On one hand Shona supremacists and their Shona supporters want to maintain the status quo. That is, they want fake the unitary state to remain so that they continue oppressing, abusing and slaughtering Matabel. On the other hand Matabel are demanding the restoration of Matabel and state so that they practice their God-given right of self-determination and enjoy freedom that comes with it. Which chiefs must we give space to lead processes of reconciliation? Is it the Sari group led by Chief Fortune Cherambira of Mashonaland who recently confessed in a ZANAP conference that they, Zimbabwe traditional chiefs, are owners of ZANAP? Only fools will waste their time listening to ZANAP agents masquerading as traditional chiefs. Matabels are not so gullible to be deceived by idiotic acts of Koner genocide perpetrators who are so scared to face music for slaughtering innocent Matabels. The president of Zimbabwe is not even ashamed to refer to such clear acts of genocide as a conflict. So the government of Zimbabwe was at war with innocent Matabel civilians that included defenseless women, old people, children, born and unborn? What a shame. A genocide perpetrator like Nangagwa cannot teach the victims how to mourn their beloved ones, force them to heal, forgive and forget. He and his fellow Shona supremacists enablers and supporters must know that whatever they say about Matabel genocide annoys the people of Matabel and big time. We know that, out of tribal hate, the Shona supremacists that included late President Mugabe, Nangagwa, Joyce Mujuru and many others went around the world in search of the country that uses the most cruel means of killing its own citizens. They found it in the form of North Korea, where an official is executed publicly using an anti-aircraft gun for merely falling asleep in a rally attended by the head of state. Parents and relatives of the poor victim are then forced to sit in the front row to watch the gruesome murder of their loved one. Nangagwa and fellow Shona supremacists fell in love with this kind of brutality and immediately imported it into Zimbabwe as best means to annihilate Matabel Nation. Military instructors from North Korea were hired by the government of Zimbabwe to impart their brutal tactics to the Zimbabwe National Army 5th Brigade that was deployed into Matabeland without delay. Stomach-turning acts of brutality were soon reported in Matabeland.
Lactating mothers still weak after giving birth were forced to crush to death their newborn babies using maize pounders. Pregnant women had their stomachs ripped apart with knives while alive to see the dissident inside. Some women had their private parts burned with plastic in the presence of their relatives, husbands, and children. This way, more than 40 innocent Matabel civilians lost their lives in the only genocide committed by blacks against blacks in southern Africa. More than 100 Matabel women including children were raped, more than 100 Matabel homes were burned down, more than 300 Matabels were maimed. More than 1 million Matabels were displaced into neighboring countries like South Africa and Botswana. We will never forget, and we will never be forced to forgive. If you thought that the genocide is stopped, think again. It continues in the not so covert ways. More than 4 million Matabels that remain in Zimbabwe suffer tribal marginalization in terms of development politics, economics, higher education, in the labor market and socially. The aim is still the same, to destroy Matabel Nation and prepare them as herd boys, garden boys and maids for Shona people. All genocidaires are cowards. Around this time a long time ago in Judea, one scared genocidist, King Herod, was plotting to massacre all infants born in Bethlehem in an attempt to murder baby Jesus whom he was afraid of. In December of 2021 another mass murderer in Harare, Emerson Nangagwa, scared to face justice for committing genocide in Matabeland, scared of unrelenting calls for the restoration of Matabeland state, scared of the powerful Matabel nation, scared of infants, an even unborn Matabel child is threatening second genocide to annihilate Matabel nation. This calls for Matabels to stand up unite and defend themselves. Never again shall Matabels suffer genocide at the hands of Shona supremacists. We shall defend ourselves until the last drop of our blood. The only acceptable solution from Zimbabwe government is Matabel and restoration and US $100 billion as compensation for Matabel and genocide.